Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list for parents of newborns. Tip number one, make sure your child gets all the necessary tests before leaving the hospital. These include eye drops to prevent eye infection, a vitamin K shot, the hepatitis B vaccine, a hearing test, and a blood test to screen for genetic disorders. These are standard in most states. Tip number two, feeding. Breastfeeding is preferable for both the mother and the infant, except in certain medical conditions of the mother or the infant. Ask your doctor if you have a medical condition and if it's all right for you to breastfeed. Breast milk prevents many infections. It reduces stress for the mom by releasing hormones from her body when she breastfeeds and lowers the risks of breast cancer. Newborns should be fed whenever they're hungry, usually every two to three hours in the first month. Normal infants lose about 5% of their weight, and this should be expected in the first five days of life. However, they regain this weight, their birth weight, by the first or the second week of life. If weight loss is greater, then your, inf then your infant might not be getting enough food. Tip number three, diapering. Babies dirty diapers about 10 times a day. You should change the baby's diaper after each bowel movement or if the diaper is wet. Clean the baby with mild soap and water or a wipe with each diaper change. Let the baby go undiapered for part of the day. This gives the skin a chance to air out. Tip number four, bathing. A newborn only needs to be bathed two or three times a week during the first year. More frequent bathing may dry the skin out. You should only give sponge baths during the first two weeks or until the umbilical cord falls off. You can then bathe the baby in a basin filled with two inches of warm water. Tip number five, sleeping. Place your baby on his back to sleep. This reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. For the first six months, Baby, baby should sleep in the parent's room in a crib with a firm mattress that's covered with a sheet. There should be no pillows, stuffed animals, or blankets that could block the baby's mouth or nose. A pacifier should be used when placing the infant to sleep. Pacifier use has been shown to reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Car seats. Baby should always ride in car seats and the car seat should never be in the front seat of a car with a passenger airbag. Tip number seven, make sure that you avoid exposure to secondhand smoke for your baby. Tip number eight, see a doctor for a follow-up visit. So you should see your doctor within the first one to two weeks for a routine follow-up visit. Tip number nine, there are certain situations where you should bring, see your doctor earlier. These are a fever in your baby of 100.4 or greater. The best way to check a temperature is with a, a rectal thermometer, a digital rectal thermometer. Another reason to see a doctor is if, the baby, if your baby has difficulty responding or seems limp. Another reason is if there's nonstop crying. Babies will cry a lot when they're born but if they're inconsolable, then this is a sign that there might be a, an illness. Refusing to eat, having a rash, lips, tongue, or nails turning blue. If the spot on your baby's head that's soft, right above the forehead, either starts to bulge or is sunken in, that's another sign to see a doctor. If your baby's having difficulty breathing, has a stiff neck, has persistent diarrhea or vomiting, or has signs of dehydration, such as is urinating less or doesn't make tears when your baby's crying. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Parenting is a wonderful experience and you absolutely have what it takes to be a great parent. Thank you for listening and have a great life as a parent. Take care.